welcome back to my channel thank you very much for stopping by in this video i am going to talk about the art of effective gold setting and particularly to, tailored for the helping professions so particularly for therapists and private practitioners and healthpreneurs um so whether you're looking to elevate your private practice or enhance your personal development then this video is going to be packed with practical tips and strategies so let's get into it now in april last year i did a video about goal setting i'm going to put a link to that below and in it i shared with you my personal experience with goal setting and the fact that I have been on quite a personal journey with goal setting and my experiences of it. Um, so I'm not going to cover the kind of same stuff in this video as that video. So you might want to um, go and have a look at the other video um, after this one. So my personal journey with this approach to my therapy practice, I've done so much work over the last year, I thought it'd be quite nice for you to kind of hear an update of where I've come. Since last year, I have done a business plan, oh, amazing, uh, and some cash flow forecasting and got to a point where I actually got a business grant for Build It Brilliant, which was fantastic and something from a goal setting point of view, I never thought that I'd be able to achieve. Um, so in this video, I'm going to explore some of the key things that you might want to have a look at in your business when it comes to goal setting and some of the personal development things as well so that we can get a plan together for you that's really going to work for you um, and talk about kind of overcoming the challenges with goal setting and help you to set yourself up for success. So let's explore some key areas where you might want to have a look at the goals for your business and what to consider. I'm going to change it to achievements uh, for your business. And if you want to know why I call it achievements and aims and not goals, then go check out that other video. So the first thing that you probably want to have a look at in terms of achievement is how are you going to attract and retain clients? And that's something that your you can have a goal around and you can have very specific things around around what would you like to try what sorts of things are you going to build into your strategy and how are you going to measure that as a particular goal in your business about that customer journey of attracting and uh, retaining clients the next one is about um, the marketing strategy. So how are you going to get yourself known to who, for what, and what marketing strategies are you gonna use within your business? Another element that you will probably look at and think, mm, okay, what are the achievements and the aims that you would like for your business when it comes to that marketing? So it might be a set bigger, like, um, a certain amount of growth in your um, people watching your content, for example, or it might be that you set s specific aims for a particular launch or a particular campaign that you're working on so that then you can know whether you've hit those targets or not. And the last one is the kind of financial milestones and the budgeting element of business. Without any of these goals, these kind of business goals, you really are kind of running around in the dark, trying to trying all these different things and hoping that something works. Instead of sitting there and saying that your business has uh, has some achievements and aims and things that you want to do and you've thought through them and you've got some really good steps in order to get you from A to B. And it's those things that are going to help you to almost have like a laser light focus and know what it is that you're doing and how you're doing it. Mixed with the business stuff, let's talk about personal development. I'm really, really passionate within Build It Brilliant that your business journey is that balance between business and personal, because I think that that's important for health and happiness. So some of the things from a personal point of view, like continuing your your CPD and your professional education. I think so many people fall into procrastinating, like just just thinking that they're not expert enough and then buying into even more skills when really they've got enough already. And that's certainly something that I help people with through Build It Brilliant is looking at when is it appropriate for you to look at 
another course versus implementing what you've already got so it might be that you want to have a look at some kind of achievement or aim that you would where is it in terms of your professional development that the gaps are um and really question yourself over whether that's a question of you being and feeling enough versus you know an actual continual professional development need another goal stroke aim that you might want to look at is work-life balance you might want to say well right now my business I'm working a certain amount of time or a certain amount of hours but these ideas I want to implement and then I want to get to a point and I want to aim to get to a point when I'm working like this or even if it's just in a in a day-to-day -day basis smaller so you say today if I do x y and z then that I, then I will stop and meditate for an hour or I'll go read a book for a while or whatever it is. It's about uh, having those achievements and aims that you can say uh, help you to get that health and happiness and that work-life balance. Again, something else that I help people work on in terms of their business strategy and the hours that they're working to make sure that the choices that they pick in terms of their opportunities and, and their aims match the amount of money and the work-life balance that they want. You might also want goals or aims in terms of who do you want to be connected to? Who do you want in your network? Who, what skills do you need to be aware of? Who can you lean into? Kind of what is your network right now? And, and how can you get into the networks that you want to get into in order to grow your business the way that you want to build it? So having a think about who is in your network or building that strong support or support network could be a, a good personal development decision um, in your kind of goal setting or achievement setting process. And the last one is, is that element of you and, and how do you set achievements or aims in order to develop your resilience or your self-care practices for yourself to ensure that you are a healthy and happy human and definitely considering those things and having those as part of your plan is a really important thing to think about as well you can't fill you can't give from an empty cup uh, and we certainly don't want you burning out because there's so many people in the world that need your services but then that comes with stress and pressure to help people um, and to, to to be successful and all these kinds of things and if we don't have that element of uh, an achievement or an aim in terms of your resilience and your personal development journey then sometimes that can get missed uh, and we forget about it so if you're writing these aims and objectives for your business um, you can use the smart criteria that is so well known but i will go through it and that is uh, specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound and you can write your goals in that way and that is more likely to happen so uh just saying oh i want to get better at my self-care practices you can't really implement that you can't you can't measure whether you're doing really well with that and the likelihood is is that you're never going to know whether you're doing it or not where if you had a smart goal that said um every day i i'm gonna have 30 minutes of self-care practice then that's more specific. It's you can measure whether you've done it or not. Um, and maybe saying 15 minutes or 10 minutes is a little bit more achievable in terms of everything else that you've got in. So not setting goals that that are ridiculously far ahead and then they demotivate you because you can't you can't implement them and action them. In terms of overcoming challenges, then um goals uh, or achievements are not set it's not something that you say right this is this is what what you've decided and then it never changes it's about having fluidity in that so if something doesn't quite go the way that you want or you didn't quite achieve the the totals that you wanted so take an event for example you might have an, a, an aim that you want 20 people at your event and then your the reality is you get eight well, you could be really disappointed with that and feel like you have failed in some way. Instead of saying, well, that's eight people to talk to about what you're doing more than you have before. 
we we tend to go well I didn't get the 20 so therefore it's a failure and looking at it that way can sometimes mean that you then don't go out and do that event again which is a real shame because eight people is eight people more than you had before so how do you need to kind of deal with that setback in order to keep your motivation high um so adjusting your goals as you're as needed or your end of achievements if the time scales don't quite happen the way that you want it's okay that doesn't mean that you're a failure or that you've not achieved it um it's how do we keep your motivation high by having that flexibility in in the goals that you've created um and the last bit around overcoming challenges i think is is seeking that mentorship and that guidance uh, and that's why I'm really passionate about Build It Brilliant and what we're building and and how we are helping people, because that mentorship and guidance can really make the difference between successful business and happy, healthy um, people running those businesses and uh, burnout, a sense of failure and kind of or, or overworking and not working smart and hard. So all of those things are, are kind of baked into Build It Brilliant in terms of getting you the correct, uh, the membership, mentoring, guidance, that support along the way that you need in order to look at your goals and be reminded of, of them and also be reminded of the flexibility and, and help you to adjust as you go. So lots and lots to take away in this this video about goal setting um, and hopefully it's kind of encouraged you to have a look a little bit more into to goal setting. My personal journey with goal setting has certainly been a, a very interesting one. I come a long way in a year and I'm so proud of the fact that now I I can sit and choose these kinds of achievements and aims for my business and I think it it has meant such a big difference with with the the success that I'm experiencing within my business and that feels really really good so remember that it is a dynamic process um and hopefully this video is the, that kind of guide you need to have a think about what's important for you and what's important for your business please do use the words that are relevant to you and the importance of that I cover in the video that I did last year so I'll put a link to that below so you can go check that one out um, if you like as well feel free to like and share and subscribe uh, all of those are really important and um, it means that you get even more kind of insightful and tailored content for the helping professions um, and support on your your journey to success and excellence Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've really enjoyed that and found it helpful and I will see you next week for the next one.